By definition, permissions are a crucial part of your site's security. As you probably know, this is how you tell your website what types of users have permission to do certain things on the site. We find our permissions configuration by going to People, and then clicking on the Permissions tab. And here we see all of the user roles on our site, and all of the permissions that we can allow or deny those users. By default, Drupal is configured with a permission set that should be secure, but you'll often need to tinker with it somewhat, especially as you create new user roles on your site. Let's say that we want to create a new user role with its own set of permissions, and also make sure that all of the stock permissions are the way we want them to be. The case that I most commonly come across in my work, as far as user roles go, is the role of an editor or a content editor or something along those lines where it's not an administrator, it's not someone who's going to be changing the configuration of the site, but it's someone who works at the company that the website is for and they're going to be uploading content to their company's website. It's not anonymous users or a large group of semi-anonymous users that simply have accounts, it's actually people in the organization. So let's add a new role here under roles. And we'll just call this role name editor. Save that. And that's all it takes to create a new role on the site. Now we can edit this role's permissions or we can simply go to the permissions page and edit everyone's permissions. Notice that the new role has been added to our list of user roles. So we can edit the permissions for the editor role alongside everything else that's on the site. Anything that says administer or configure, you want to leave that to an administrator or an administrator-like role. We're going to say our editors are pretty much purely concerned with adding content on the site, so we're not going to give them the ability to administer most things, if anything. Also, this page does a good job of providing warnings to configurations that may have security implications or I should say higher security implications than others. So administer comment types and settings. If you're able to do this, you're able to change the type of text when leaving a comment. So this is something that you only want to use, that you only want to give to trusted roles. So far, all of these are just fine. We have post comments. We're allowing, as we discussed earlier, anonymous users to do so. Since anonymous and authenticated users can do that, we automatically have that for our other roles. We can scroll down a little bit. Configuration manager. We don't want just anyone to be managing our configuration exports and imports. Notice we have warnings here, essentially telling us that. And we don't want our editors to manage that either because that's not really content related. That's more of administration of the site. So only our administrator is gonna do that. We have permissions related to the site's contact forms, contextual links, field UI. This is a lot to do with configuration and administration. So we're not going to do anything different there either. Files overview page. There could be cases where you want to give that to the editor. We're not going to worry about that here. Here we have our text formats. We have the ability to administer text formats and filters. We're not going to change that. We only want the administrator to do that. But we will give the editor the ability to use full HTML as well as restricted HTML. We're going to say we trust our editors that they're not going to be doing anything weird or malicious on our site. We want to give them free reign to add any type of HTML that they need to to put the appropriate content on our site. We're not going to worry about administering image styles for anyone besides the administrator. Let's say we want our editor to have access to the content overview page, the list of all content, so they can see everything without necessarily having to navigate to it on the website. We're not going to let them administer content or content types. They're not going to change any configuration there, but we will in a minute allow them to edit content. Let's say we'll allow them to bypass content access control so they can pretty much view anything. Let's say they can view their own unpublished content. We're not going to allow them to revert anything just to be safe. And we are going to allow them to do a lot of things here. They can create new content. Whether they can delete content or not, that kind of 
is something that needs to go on a case-by-case -case basis. Let's say we'll leave this off on hours because they can always just simply unpublish an article. Let's say we don't want to give them the ability to delete an article just in the off chance that they make a mistake and delete something on accident. We don't want to lose that data. They can just as easily unpublish the content and save all the data in case it turns out that they need it later. So we're not going to allow them to delete revisions either, but they can edit content, any as well as their own for articles. We'll say they can revert revisions and view revisions. And then we'll do the same thing for basic pages. They can create new content. We're not going to allow them to delete anything, but they can edit any content, edit their own content, revert revisions and view revisions. Let's say we want them to be able to create and edit URL aliases as well and access in-place editing. We'll let them use search along with everyone else. We actually can't remove that since authenticated and anonymous users. So we'll keep this on here for everybody, but we're not going to allow them to administer search settings. We'll take a look at security review later. You won't see that right now. This is something that we're going to talk about in a little bit. We're not going to do anything with shortcuts. We're not going to allow them to administer any type of menus or site configuration. We will allow them to use the administration toolbar so they can have quick access to content links and things like that. Whether you want them to be able to administer users, things like that, that's going to be another case by case basis. Maybe you want them to be able to block users and things like that. I'm just going to leave this unchecked for our purposes. We'll say we will let them view user information and we don't want them to play around with views either. So let's save these permissions. Before we finish here, I want to go back and show you one thing that you may have noticed. Under the filter group, notice that for basic, full, and restricted HTML, we do have the warning about the permission having security implications depending on how the text format is configured. We talked about basic HTML being a pretty safe way to allow users to add content. We talked about restricted HTML, a more safe way to allow users to add content on your site, whether it's a comment or an article or anything like that. The reason we have a warning here saying this may have security implications is because we can edit these, if you remember. We can edit any of these text formats as well as create our own. So even though this is called restricted HTML and out of the box, this is the most restrictive text format, we are allowed to edit this to include anything we want. So that's the reason this warning is here, just to let us know that even though this is restricted, depending on how the text format is configured, in other words, depending on what type of changes we may have made to it, this permission may have security implications. So keep an eye on anything that has a warning like that.